Hey, Eric here from 5minuteinvesting.com. And today, we're going to talk about support and resistance. Now, before I explain support and resistance, I just want to let you know the big picture of this investing approach. It has three steps. Find great companies, buy it at a discount, and use stock options to multiply your profit. It's that simple. We're going to the techniques and the details here, but you just need to understand the big picture to start. I'm Eric, your host, and I'm a CPA. So if you haven't subscribed already, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click like below and leave a comment on what's your most burning question about investing. I read and reply to almost every single comment. So support and resistance. Now, if you look at any chart, it's easy to identify support and resistance. And usually, investors identify a lot of support and resistance because you can look at the first wave and see the top and the bottom, and then the second wave, and you look at the top and the bottom, and then the third wave and the top and the bottom. And the more you do this, the more support and resistance you have. So what's the trick? The trick is to know that not all support and resistance are created equal. The most important support and resistance is the most recent high and low. So that means if you just look at the most recent high and low, that should give you 80% of what you're looking for. Now, occasionally, when you're looking back at a chart, you might see there are more support and resistance. What do I mean? For example, let's say the price dips um, in a particular price point for like three times. And that's usually reliable as well. So if I have to summarize support and resistance into two single steps, one is to look at the most recent high and low, that's all you really need. And second is to look for if a price has consistently touched but has not break through. So let's say for the last three waves, price cannot break through a certain level, that would be a very strong support. And that's it. Now, this is the third video of this video series. And previously, I talked to you about the structure of price. And now we're going to move on to how to use Borlinger Band to identify tops and bottoms. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions.